Hello and welcome to Software Pulse, building Java desktop applications and I'm John McNeil. And in this video we're going to take a look at showcasing an appointment application written in JavaFX. So let's go take a look. So to start off with, the application is deployed as an installable executable file. Um, and you double click the file and it will unpack everything and install it and then automatically launch the application. Um, just before we do that, let's take a look at where it's going to deploy the application to and the reason why. On a Windows system, if you want to deploy an application to the C drive, um, you need to have administrator rights. And where you don't have the administrator rights, Windows makes available a, a, a space for you to install applications for you as that individual user. That means that every user on the machine um, would have to install this application in order to have access to it. It's not a machine wide installation. And where it goes is it goes into a directory called the um, app data directory. And there's a folder off of that called local. And that's where we will store this application. So when we double click, it will install and the application is called rendezvous. So it will insert itself between the publishers and Sabre folder here um, with all the files that it needs to be able to run. So we will double click our application and it brings up an installer dialog. Um, ignore the icons, I've just used some sample icons I found lying around. We press the install button and there you can see it's putting it in the users John MC directory app data local and so that's my local directory on this machine and <clears throat> here's the application launched and the first time it launches it recognizes that it doesn't have some default properties set so it brings up this page asking you to set these or confirm these so we'll just do that and press the save button um, what I'm going to do now and this brings us back to the main the main screen of the application the rendezvous application. So what I'm going to do now is just shut this down and we'll come back to our um, app data local folder and there you can see there's a rendezvous folder that's now sitting between the publishers and Sabre folder and that's where our application is. We'll come back and have a look at that in a minute but for now we will go to our start menu and click our rendezvous application and there's our application and what we've got are Four, four buttons if you like on our main screen settings brings us back up to this configuration screen that we saw on startup we've got a contact screen um, where we can create a, a new contact so so there we are there's a, a new contact We've got an appointments option where we can create a new appointment. And we've got the calendar view, which allows us to look at appointments by month, week, or day. So if we just now create an appointment, I'll pick the 24th of February at one o'clock oh, one o'clock in the afternoon even uh, I'll create another count contact far far away although I could have left it there uh, um, just lost there we are add that double click that to put into our appointments and uh, we'll add that in there so if we go to our calendar view we can see we've got an appointment on the 24th that's what the blue circle signifies um, and there we are we can see it again there so I can double click and go into it I can just 
make that now a two hour appointment and there we are there's our two hour appointment and if we go to our day view we can see it sitting in there so that's that um of the other way we could do it is we could have an appointment at say nine o'clock on thursday um, this time we'll have it with fred and add that there so there that is and we can go to our week view and there we are go to our month view and we can see we've got two appointments so that's the rendezvous application if we come back to where it's been installed and go into the rendezvous folder we can find there's the executable file that is the <clears throat> application in the start menu links to this executable file here and there's some DLLs required for the Windows operating system to, to run the um, to run the executable code in the runtime folder we've got the Java virtual machine that ships with the product so this ensures that um, when we deploy it to somebody's machine they've got the right version of Java on the on the with the application to run the application so we don't have to worry about them having a different version of the JVM installed on their machine in the app folder we've got the rendezvous jar file which is a runnable jar file that we've built um, and packaged up our application into we have a libs folder which is where all our third-party libraries are installed and I'll just point out the SP calendar FX library is is a custom built library that's the library that I built to um, render the month week and day views and to show appointments within those views so the application is making use of that library then we've got a reminder app DB file this is an SQLite um, database file which is where we store the appointment information um, and is created on installation so when you first run the application it builds and creates the database and creates all the tables and then populates it with information as you use the application and then we've got a log file and what this allows us to do is should we have a problem out in the field we deploy it to somebody's field um, somebody's um, laptop or, or computer and they have an issue they can send us the log file and we can see the steps they took to generate that issue and maybe be able to recreate it it gives us an insight into what was going on at the time the problem occurred um, which is great when you're deploying applications out onto people's machines you need that sort of feedback in order to be able to work out what's going on so there we are there we have it that's our rendezvous application um, I hope you found it interesting and useful and um, it inspires you to um, come up with ideas to build your own desktop applications this is software pulse building Java desktop applications I'm John McNeil and thank you very much for watching